Hello, lovely Strawberry Hill friends, it's Mrs. Woods. I'm so glad that you're here. This week in Art Essential, we're gonna be learning about a really cool artist named Bridget Bridget Riley. is an artist from the 1960s in London, England, and she pioneered optical illusion art. Just like Picasso, who went through a red and a blue period, you're gonna notice on the next few slides that Bridget Riley's paintings either are in black and white or they're in color. And I'd like you to notice how Miss Riley uses line and color to create rhythm and repetition in her paintings that actually give the effect of optical illusions. Miss Riley's paintings are going to be inspiring our project for this week, which are optical illusion paper stamps. One side is in black and white and one side is in color. You create the optical illusion. I have a step-by-step -step guide for you and it's really not hard. All you're going to need is a thin piece of cardboard, some markers, a white piece of paper, some glue, and Spin it. When you take your paper spinner and you twirl it around, you're going to see the most amazing optical illusion effects. Don't just stop at one. You can make several of these in all different colors and different effects. And I'd like you to be inspired by the art of Bridget Riley. On one side, do a black and white optical illusion, and on the other side, you can do one in color. You can also make more than one because it's a lot of fun to have all of these paper spinners spinning around with all sorts of different optical illusions. It creates really a tremendous effect. But also learn that optical illusion art has been around for a very long time, since the Renaissance, in fact, in the 1500s, when artists first learned how to draw and paint with perspective. If you'd still like to try your hand at more optical illusion art and you feel inspired, on the last slide I have two really easy optical illusion challenges which will kind of blow your mind. Have fun and have a great week.